Welcome back to the Reload Bench. Recently, I was watching a friend's video on pocket watches. And after the video was over, I, I felt kind of strange. It was as, as if I was compelled to go and find this pocket watch I was looking for. You want to buy a pocket watch. Jedi mind tricks aside, there's a pocket watch I've been wanting to get for three years and nine months. And you might say, that's a very specific time frame. How do you know it's been three years and nine months? Well, that's how long ago it was that another friend used his Jedi mind trick on me and compelled me to buy this watch. Now, for those of you who've seen the Clint Eastwood movie for a few dollars more, you might recognize this pocket watch. This is a replica of the watch from the movie. Now, this isn't fine jewelry. This is anodized plastic. It's got a speaker on here. It's got a battery in it. And it plays the music from the movie that the prop pocket watch supposedly played. They had to dub in the music. There's two versions of the watch. This one plays the music as it's heard in the movie with the musical score behind it. The other version of the watch simply plays the chimes. And I didn't know that at the time that I purchased this. I didn't understand why there were two versions of the watch and I just ordered one. I've w always wanted the other one. And because I watched my friend's video on pocket watches, I decided to go look to see if the other watch was available. Not only was it available, but it was available for almost half the price it normally goes for. But there was only one left in stock. So I jumped on it right away and ordered it. So let's go ahead and unbox it and just see what all I got. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. It's packaged up in a bubble pack. It came in priority mail in two days. An interesting story about the first watch. When it came in three years and nine months ago, it came in priority mail, but the post office delivered it to the neighbor. And I wasn't really too happy because it, it was showing delivered to me, but it was lost. And I was about to go to bed when I got a knock on the door and it was a neighbor going, hey, I think this is yours. So I almost didn't get the watch. It's wrapped up pretty good. I'm kind of glad. I think last time it did come in a box, not a bag. And there's another envelope. There we go. Now I contacted the owner of the company and I said, hey, there was only one left in stock. Uh, are you gonna be ordering more or whatnot? And he said, no, I'm discontinuing the watches. So that might have been the reason why the price was so low on it. But uh, he's not going to discontinue the other things that are available on his store that are replicas of props from Clint Eastwood movie. As a matter of fact, he was talking to me about uh, getting more sizes of uh, some boots that he sells in, in stock. And hopefully he gets my size in because I'd like to order them. In the meantime though, here you go. This is exactly the way this showed up before. Little piece of bubble wrap. Some instructions. I believe these are instructions on how to change out the battery. Yes. So we've got setting the time, playing the song, maintenance, and batteries. Alright, so he did let me know that this has been in storage for years. So it may not play music. Let's find out. Let's open it up and see what happens. Or I played it before I opened it. Let's try that again.
Not bad. Now, some of you might say, eh, it sounded a little too tinny, it sounded artificial, whatnot. For the price I paid, this is exactly what I wanted. It's got me thinking, though. Let me try pushing the stem on this. So I don't know if you could hear that, but there was a little bit of the, the music more so than just the chimes. So now I finally have both versions of this watch. I have the last one of the chimes only watch. And as, as at the time that I'm making this, there are still some of these available. And I believe they're about $150 each. Now, I don't know if at any point he'll ever decide to have these reproduced again or somebody else might do that. Uh, I have seen a video where somebody's got a very expensive, much nicer pocket watch that doesn't have the picture in there or anything else, and it does play play these chimes, but at a much higher uh, rate of speed and for a much shorter time. I wanted something that is just like what's in the movie, and as far as I'm concerned, even though somebody might go, this is a gimmicky, cheap, made-in-China watch... Uh, for me, this is exactly what I wanted. But for all those people out there saying that the batteries don't last long or, or what have you, this is three years and nine months old and it's been played a little bit more than 50 times now and it still works. It's just been stored in this box in the house and this one's been in storage for years and right out of the box it worked. So not too bad for a cheap Chinese replica watch. Hopefully somebody found this useful and... Uh, if, if you're into uh, some of the Clint Eastwood movies, I'll go ahead and include a link to the website where you can buy some of the other props that are available for sale. Thanks for watching.